Hello guys, thanks for tuning in to another Fusion 360 tutorial. And in this one, we're going to be looking at how to align uh, objects on um, specific axes or, or planes. So first thing that we're going to need to do um, is either create the object or create the axis. So I'm going to create the axis first of all. So this is our project we've been working on so far, um, creating a hairbrush. So we've made the body. Um, we did 3D sketches, we did surfaces, and we did projecting sketches to a surface. Now what we're going to do is create some um, axis perpendicular to a face at a specific point. So select the surface and you select the point that you want to create that axis at. And you'll see that it creates that for us. And it will create another one. Axis perpendicular to face at point. And that will be here. So we're going to do this basically all the way along our line here, everywhere where one of our um, projected faces is um, intersecting. So it's axis perpendicular to face at point. You select the, the, the surface, and then you select the point that you're going to create it at. So, um, we have one more to do, which would be this one here. Construct axis perpendicular to face at point. Select the surface, select point. Okay. So that's created these axes for us. Um, we can tidy this up a little bit. You can actually just grab the ends of these to resize them. It doesn't really make a difference in the function, but it just makes the drawing a little easier to look at and manage and use when you don't have these unnecessary lines sticking out. Okay, so we've created the axis. Now we need to create the objects that we're going to align to those axes. So this is our brush body, um, but we're going to create a new component which we'll call brushes. And then we'll create a, a cylinder. So a cylinder primitive, it'll be 1.5 millimeters by 18 millimeters. And then we'll create another primitive, which will be a sphere. We'll create it on top of this. So you select that surface and the center point, make it three millimeters. And rather than cut, we want to join. That creates our new object here, which is a new body, which we will call a bristle. And that's the technical name for the brushes. Um, now we can create a component from this body. So within our brushes here, now we have our bristles. Now we need to position this on our comb, or on our hairbrush at the correct angle. Now you could do it manually, but that would be a little bit of work. Instead, what we can do is we can go to um, modify and align. And we're going to align this object with this axis here. And you'll see it snaps it to there and aligns it. It's also positioned it where we don't want it to be. It's not where we need it to be, yeah? So we're going to use the move point to point function. So we go to uh, move. We're going to be moving a component. Select this component here. You see the axis there has already been lined up. And we can move this up. Until it's sticking out or into the main object, just a little bit, okay? So that's our first one done. And it's now nicely aligned to the correct angle and position that we need it to be. Okay, we can go ahead and capture that position. Now I will copy and paste a new. Okay. Now this one, we are going to align component to 
the sexes. Let's remove this object. Line it properly, you see it down there. Let's try that again. We'll revert the position to where it was before. Okay, so modify a line from here to here. There we go. Was that time? Sure, we went wrong the first time. Okay, and now we will move this component and we drag it down so again it sticks inside of the brush slightly. Again, copy, paste new. Modify and align. We're going to select the cylinder. We're going to align it to this. Again, move it. So we have two more to go. Same thing again. Copy. Paste new. Modify and align. I'll align this this and we have one more left line cylinder here see that we have a um, slightly larger spacing between those two there. So what we could do if we wanted would be we could go back in our timeline to where we drew this sketch and we could actually extend the, that line. But you know what, I'm just going to leave it as it is. Um, it's not critical for this exercise anyway but uh, yeah obviously design wise you probably want to adjust that um, slightly okay so that covers um, basically our um, creating of a, a new object a new primitive and yeah, creating an axis and aligning it to a specific point on the surface um, so you can see I was a lot quicker than what it would have been if we'd have manually tried to maneuver these each into position, okay? So um, I hope that you found this tutorial useful and um, I'll see you in the next part of the tutorial where we'll be learning how to create an array of these objects along a specific path so that we don't have to copy and paste and move them into each one individual into position. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you next time.